good morning all of you uh, greetings to all uh, today we are going to discuss mathematical modeling of mechanical systems okay lecture 4 and it is a continuation of previous lectures okay <coughs> this is from unit 1 okay subject control systems right so in the last class i have discussed force voltage analogy and force current analogy of mechanical systems converted into electrical systems okay and also we gone through one example problem also in the last class okay so we'll continue another example here okay say example 2 okay so what is that find the transfer function function of the system given below so here system is nothing but mechanical system ok so let us see the system this one this is reference Here we have mass one and uh, we have another mass here. Okay, so this is named as M1 and this is named as M2. Okay, now here a spring element is connected to M1, it is K1, and name it naming it. Okay, so here a dash pad is connected between m1 and m2 this is name as a b1 and here also a spring element is connected which is i'm taking as a given as a k2 right now now see dash part here exists b2 dash part okay so in this case friction between surface <coughs> and mass one with the fluid right okay now here we have displacement x1 and here we have x2 also consist of velocity v1 and velocity v2 okay so in this case we need to consider see here force also given here externally force applied here okay in this direction this is f okay so this is given function so it is given like a tires here right <coughs> so this is a given question right see here we have two masses again in the last class also <coughs> we'll solve with the two masses only so let us this is problem transfer function means what generally see here transfer function of mechanical system is taken as see here we have X displacement x2 okay so input is force output is a x2 okay that is displacement so what we need to find we need to find laplace transform that is x2 of s divided by f of s this is our aim okay this is a transfer function of given <coughs> mechanical system right so right let us solve so what we need to do first of all in the first step we need to draw a free body diagram for given mechanical system okay so let us draw free body diagram okay for above given <coughs> okay given this mechanical system so let us see how to draw the last class in detail <coughs> we discussed about um, how to draw free body diagram and uh, right so what is the definition of free body diagram quickly <coughs> see incoming forces and outgoing forces okay are externally applied forces are opposing forces act on a mass okay that will return separately okay representing only forces that is called free body diagram right so let us <coughs> draw a free body diagram for here mass one for m1 will write right see here So free body diagram for mass one. 
this is m1 say right now see applied forces opposing forces <coughs> externally one force is applied here this force i am naming it what is that f externally applied force now opposing forces here we need to write this is one opposing forces what is that say fb1 okay this one right next force is say uh, fk2 this is the force and next one is fk1 fk1 okay any other forces are there see here mass mass itself okay due to mass we have another extra force so i can write here simply f m1 <coughs> okay so here four opposing forces we have acting on a so four opposing forces acting on a mass here for okay m1 mass m1 right in this case so this is the free body diagram so here uh, presently m1 is a reference mass while writing the uh, differential equations or force equations okay you need to consider m as a <coughs> m1 as a reference mass okay okay so here we have velocity x1 okay now let us see the force equations so let us write the force equations here force equations writing the force equations okay so initially i am mentioning here m1 opposing force due to mass m1 which is nothing but mass m1 into see we need to write in terms of displacement because what is the transfer function we need to find x2 of s divided by f of s this is the output and this is input right so in terms of displacement d square by dt square x1 okay next is f of say um, k1 okay so need to see the diagram also k1 is connected between i mean ground to mass 1 okay so it depends on the velocity i mean velocity v1 and displacement x1 so it's nothing but k1 into x1 directly right next is f k2 opposing force another opposing force k2 see here k2 is connected between mass m1 and m2 right so it depends <coughs> okay depends on both displacements displacement x1 and displacement x2 okay and also velocity v1 and v2 so therefore <coughs> see i can write this one so reference mass displacement minus other masses displacement okay so reference mass is for m1 for us now because i taken free body diagram of m1 we are writing the equations for m1 mass 1 okay right next is f b1 this force f b1 f b1 also connected between mass m1 and m2 okay so b1 into d by dt of what is the value this one so it is x1 minus x2 only okay so reference mass is uh, m1 m1 minus m2 okay that's so displacements are x1 minus x2 okay so these are the opposing forces right so by d lambert principle now we'll see by d lambert's principle what it says <coughs> okay so the sum of uh, can write here also no problem sum of the applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces opposing forces okay so therefore therefore how can we write this one 
f is equal to uh, f m1 plus f k1 plus f k2 plus f b1 okay <coughs> so applied forces is equal to opposing forces all four forces right so let us write the equations here force equations f is equal to m1 d square by dt square of x1 okay plus so i am writing b here in the order wise b d by dt of x1 minus x2 okay plus k1 into x1 plus k2 into x1 minus x2 okay so <coughs> Here K2 and B1 are connected between mass 1 and mass 2. Okay, so they are depends on both displacements x1 and x2. Okay, so that's why we took here x1 minus x2, x1 minus x2, right? So now by taking Laplace transform here, taking Laplace transform on both sides. So <coughs> let us write the equation. So f of s is equal to uh, m1 into s square x1 of s plus <coughs> b1 here b1 s into x1 of s minus x2 of s plus k1 into x1 of s plus k2 into uh, x1 of s minus x2 of s okay so this is the laplace transform of given <coughs> force equation right so consider this equation as a one okay start one two three right okay better still we minimize this one okay so you can say f of s is equal to m1 uh, we'll multiply this one s square x1 of s plus uh, b1 s into x1 of s minus b1 s into x2 of s plus k1 x1 of s plus k2 x1 of s minus k2 x2 of s okay still minimize this one <coughs> so from minimize um, take x1 of s common okay so what is the terms here x1 of s here x1 of s here and x1 of s here x1 of s here right so take this common so what are the terms we have m1 s square plus b1 s uh, plus k1 plus K2. Okay. <coughs> Next is these four terms is completed. Next is minus take x2 common here, x2 of s. Then see here x2 of s, x2 of s, right? 
so by taking x2 of s b1 b1s minus next is k2 okay now we will consider this as a equation 1 okay so not taking this one so consider this as a equation 1 okay so this is minus into minus plus becomes okay so when taken common minus and minus plus right <coughs> so that is the equation 1 now let us go for free body diagram for mass 2 okay so I'm writing here mass m2 okay just we go through once okay so here so opposing forces see here uh, so this is we have so there is no applied force for mass 2 here okay so all are opposing forces only so what are the opposing forces here we have one is fb1 another is fk2 another is fb2 fb2 this is fb2 and m2 these are the forces opposing mass m2 okay so in this case dependence is b1 and k2 where is the k2 right this one k2 are the depends on displacement x2 to x1 okay so let us try Okay, so free body diagram. So here is displacement x2 I am writing. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 we have. See here, first fm2, next is fb1, fb2 f k2 okay these are the opposing forces for mass m2 okay so this is a free body diagram for mass m2 so let us write the force equations okay so we'll write the force equations okay so what is that <coughs> so initially i am writing separately m2 is equal to what is the value m2 into t square by dt square now uh, here x2 right f b1 see b1 is connected between mass m2 and m1 here in this case my mass m2 is a reference mass okay so how to take the displacement okay reference mass displacement minus other masses displacement okay so <coughs> So B1 into D by DT of what? X2 minus X1. Next is B2. See BT is corrected M2 to ground. Okay, so therefore B2 directly D by DT of X2. Right? Then last one is F k2 see here b1 is all con b1 is connected between mass m1 and m2 okay and this is also connected to mass in between mass m1 and m2 okay so therefore see therefore <coughs> how can you write this k2 now x2 minus x1 because x1 because m2 is my reference mass now so reference mass displacement minus other masses displacement other mass means m1 okay m1 displacement is how much x1 okay so these are the equations so right by d alambert principle by d alambert's principle okay 
what principle says sum of the applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces okay so what is that so see here for m2 there is no external force is up applied directly okay so externally applied force is zero here then what is the value fm2 plus uh, fp1 plus fb2 plus f k2 okay so this is the d'alembert principle okay for given mechanical system <coughs> so here only we will write let us write the equation 0 is equal to uh, m2 d square by dt square x2 plus uh, b1 so b1 is what b1 d by dt of which is connected between mass m2 and m1 so therefore displacement x2 minus x1 plus b2 b2 is directly connected to ground right so d by dt of directly x2 which is depends on the, <coughs> the displacement x2 dis okay now finally k2 is nothing but x2 minus x1 if this is also connected between two masses all right now <coughs> by taking Laplace transform on both sides by taking Laplace transform on both sides so what will happen this equation becomes uh, 0 is equal to uh, m2 into s square x2 of s plus b1 s into x2 of s minus x1 of s ok plus b2 s into x2 of s ok plus k2 right here plus k2 x2 of s minus x1 of s ok <coughs> right so let us minimize this also mm. so we will uh, minimize this ok multiply first of all 0 is equal to m2 s square x2 of s plus b1 s x2 of s minus b1 s x1 of s ok plus b2 s x2 of s plus k2 x2 of s minus k2 x1 of s ok still minimize this one <coughs> so we would like to take common here x2 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 ok so take common here x2 of s the remaining terms m2 s square uh, plus b1 s plus b2 s plus k2 ok so remaining term minus what are the remaining terms this is remain and this one both are minus ok so x1 of s into this is b1 of s ok plus k2 ok <coughs> let us see. 
now this value <coughs> we will take as a x1 okay so take this value in left hand side therefore what will happen x1 of s that is b1 of b1 s plus k2 is equal to x2 of s into m2 s square plus b1 s plus b2 s plus k2 okay so here i would like to take x1 value x1 of s becomes so x2 of s into m2 s square plus b1 s plus b2 s plus k2 divided by this term will come here so b1 s plus k2 <coughs> Now consider this as a equation 2. Sorry. Now consider this as a equation 2. Okay. <coughs> now substituting equation 2 in equation 1. Now, equation 1, sorry, equation 2 in equation 1. <coughs> so, 2 is, the equation 2 is here. Let us see the equation 1 once again. would like to rewrite that. Equation 1. So this is equation 1 we have here, so this is f of s is equal to, this is equation 1 we have, okay, right, <coughs> in this we need to substitute x1 value, okay, equation 2 is x1 value, okay, let us substitute. So f of s is equal to uh, x2 value is much x2 of s into m2 s square plus b1 s plus b2 s plus k2 into m1 s square plus b1 s plus k1 plus k2 ok divided by the value what is the value b1 s plus k2 ok minus the va x2 value x2 of s into b1 s plus k2 this is ok so <coughs> this is after substitution we will get this value ok so let us minimize this also right by taking lcm b1s plus k2 ok and uh, above value will be multiplied this one x2 of s into m2 s square plus I am taking common s here so b1 plus b2 into s plus k2 ok and this one will be m1 s square plus b1 s plus k1 plus k2 and this value will be minus this term will be multiplied in the right so this one becomes what x2 of s b1s plus k2 whole square <coughs> okay right now therefore the overall transfer function so what is this value this is f of s we have right f of s value okay 
So what is the transfer function? Transfer function is given by transfer function is equal to x2 of s output by input applied. Okay, this one. So we need to consider this is as output and the force is input. So we write the equation, the final equation simply. So the transfer function transfer function x2 of x2 of s divided by f of s is equal to now this one b1 s plus k2 right whole divided by this entire term what is the term m2 s square plus b1 plus b2 into s plus k2 okay into m1 s square plus b1 s plus k1 plus k2 okay minus okay you need to take x1 x2 is a common therefore this term is not there so it is becomes b1 s minus plus k2 whole square okay so this is our entire transfer function given transfer function for mechanical system okay right so this is the laplace transform output by laplace transform input so let us see another example okay so this is previous j and q question papers okay so we'll see example 3 okay now write the differential equations for the mechanical system shown in figure figure and obtain the analogous electrical networks based on the first one is force voltage analogy and the second one is force current analogy okay so <coughs> this is a question asked so what we need to do write the differential equations for the mechanical system shown in figure obtain the analog electrical network based on both force voltage analogy and force current analogy okay <coughs> let us see so given diagram is so this is a reference given okay right so this is a given reference okay now here one mass element is connected mass okay and applied force externally f and this is a velocity v1 and displacement x1 and see here in this case one dashboard is connected to mass given mass and uh, one spring element is connected directly here okay this is k this is b2 again here another b1 is given so this is b1 okay <coughs> all right so see here here we have velocity v2 at this particular point x2 okay this point we need to consider 
right <coughs> now now for this <coughs> one what do you need to do first we need to draw free body diagrams okay so let us draw free body diagrams for mass m okay so let us see the free body diagram for mass m okay so this is free body diagram mass m and uh, here see we have externally applied force and uh, opposing forces see here we have mass force right so due to opposing force and this one and see this is also fb1 is another opposing force and here fb2 right so these three forces opposing external force f1 right so we will mention in free body diagram only we will mention the opposing forces and applied forces so what are they so first one is f m f b1 f b2 <coughs> okay now this is the free body diagram for mass given mass okay now by d along the principle by d allenberg's principle principle so what is the principle says principle says that sum of the applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces okay so let us write the differential equations here so externally applied force is f and uh, m plus b1 plus f b2 <coughs> okay so therefore the equation f external applied force is equal to m so in terms of velocity we need to write the equations here so i'm writing here um, what is that uh, d v b d t okay so in this case v is a mass one right so velocity one at mass mass m depends on velocity v1 okay plus v1 v1 plus c v2 is connected in in between this particular node you can note this name it as x for example okay so x and mass m okay so b2 is connect b2 is depends on two velocities velocity v1 and velocity v2 okay so therefore i can write here b2 ah what is that so b2 becomes depends on v1 minus v2 right one more point so this is a considered as a equation one next free body diagram for node x i can say okay or vel at velocity v2 next is free body diagram for or i can say at velocity v2 okay <coughs> so see here at velocity v2 i named it x this node or v2 you can say at this point okay i need to consider opposing forces and applied forces okay so anyway no external force is connected here so that there is no externally applied force all are opposing forces what are they this force is opposing that is fk okay and fb2 is opposing here fb2 okay fb2 is opposing right so both two forces are opposing only right okay so so, so this node will make 
particular node okay so that point I'm writing here right therefore what are the forces both are opposing only FK is opposing another force is what is that F B2 right F B2 that is right F B2 which is connected between mass and the node X okay so if you, if you want to name name it node X okay now there is no applied forces so by DL and birth principle what it says by DL and principle what it says same sum of the applied forces is equal to sum of the opposing forces right <coughs> so let us write the equation for this one what is that zero there is no external force applied at this point so both are f b2 is opposing plus f k is opposing right so therefore what is the equation for this one b2 into ah, b2 is connected between both <coughs> mass which means velocity 1 and velocity v2 it depends on velocity v1 and velocity v2 so what we write here this particular point we need to take as a reference point okay minus other masses or other reference points okay so v2 minus v1 okay it's clear plus k is directly k is connected directly ground so this is 1 by k integration v dt so v dt is nothing but velocity 2 in this case right so consider this as equation okay okay so let us write the differential equations of force voltage analogy okay so so bit a we have force voltage analogy this is also called fv analogy okay so here force voltage analog right. so let us see the conversion first of all okay so already we discussed you need to remember this f in mechanical system becomes voltage in electrical system okay velocity small v i am writing velocity becomes what current in electrical system right you need to write all this displacement becomes charge q and here uh, mass element becomes what here inductance l <coughs> right and uh, dashboard becomes what resistance and uh, finally another element k spring element becomes what here capacitance okay so you need to remember this all okay so you need to remember this conversation of voltage uh, force voltage analogy okay so already we made a table right so from this we are going to write the equation okay so go through the equations uh, 1 and 2 so 1 becomes uh, from 1 we can write the electrical equations differential equations of electrical network so I am writing here differential equations of electrical network okay from mechanical mechanical system force equations so just I am converting directly here let us see so here force become voltage in this case V is equal to uh, mass M1 D by DT 
velocity becomes i of t or i plus dashboard becomes r1 so i of t plus dashboard 2 is r2 i1 minus i2 okay which is nothing but equation 3 now <coughs> fourth equation from second equation i'm writing here there is no external <coughs> force is applied here so b2 becomes r2 in this case okay so um, okay directly we need to take this value r2 that is i2 minus i1 plus uh, 1 by k is nothing but c integration of i2 dt okay so this is equation 4 okay so these are the differential equation for given mechanical system okay are force equations from mechanical system right so now we will draw the particular circuit okay so before going to that so we need to draw our given mechanical system quickly i will draw here this is our given mechanical system so this is a spring element this is point node x i taken as and this is a dash pot and which is connected to mass m okay and this is so this is external force applied here this one is b2 and here is a b1 and this one is a k okay and and that is x1 v1 and here x2 v2. okay so this is given <coughs> mechanical system for us so we need to draw analogous electrical network for given this one okay so i given already these steps okay what we need to do first of all initially we need <coughs> we need to re rearrange the elements okay in the form of electrical network okay let us see that so we need to start from this okay <coughs> so from this I'm starting here right so see this one so initially we have force force becomes so same elements with I'm writing here okay so this is f of t or f f with this value okay and see these two are you need to connect our masses are nodes okay so this is v2 and here I'm taking as a v1 okay so <coughs> right after applying take one common node also this is ground you can say g and d ground here also i am taking a ground one uh, okay one another node i am taking here ground okay see here <coughs> m is grounded here and b also b1 also grounded here okay so i am taking m is grounded and also b1 also grounded see here b1 also grounded b1 also grounded okay dash pad that is next is in series we have another dash pad this is what b2 and uh, this is connected to in series with spring element this is k okay so i rearranged the given mechanical system as it is okay now we will convert this one into we will convert this one into electrical systems right <coughs> now so already i given from this side you need to start what you need to take with conversation force voltage conversation we need to draw circuit parallel element become a series series element become a parallel in our electrical network okay so resultant electrical network i'm drawing here so from left side okay we will like to take other color okay see 
voltage so current become force becomes voltage right next see here mass is <coughs> connected in parallel with force right so in this case we need to draw that as a series and conversion so mass becomes mechanical system <coughs> mass becomes what inductor okay inductance in electrical system so this one is l right next is dashpot so this one is b1 i think right b1 so this dashpot becomes what resistance that is nothing but r1 right so next is what again b1 again another resistance but it is in series now we need to draw this one as a parallel okay this is what r2 again this one is series so <coughs> what we need to draw it is in in terms of parallel so spring element because what capacitance now oh, this is grounded one more point so number of references i mean number of nodes we can take as a number of loops here okay this is uh, what is the value this is directly given c okay so this is resultant electrical network okay for the given mechanical system <coughs> what my point okay so this is fv analog is completed here in this case fv analog is completed right now we'll see the now we'll see the fi analog b second bit fi analog that is nothing but force current force current analog okay so let us see the quickly conversation so what is that force becomes in force <coughs> current analog force become what current i okay and uh, mass becomes what ah, capacitor right dashpot becomes what conductance g and velocity becomes what voltage v and k becomes what spring element becomes inductance and x becomes q displacement becomes charge okay you need to remember this so by writing writing differential equations for electrical network okay from mechanical systems so let us write that so force becomes i so i can take i of t first equation becomes writing from first equation c d by dt of v1 okay <coughs> so mass element becomes capacitor here and uh, uh, velocity becomes v1 okay voltage plus conductance g1 into v1 plus g2 v1 minus v2 okay so this is equation i can say 5 okay so in the next equation there is no external force applied so <coughs> g2 is v2 minus v1 plus uh, 1 by L see here K is nothing but inductance 1 by K so 1 by L V2 DT okay so this is a equation 6 okay so this is the task of completing differential equations writing the differential equations from <coughs> force current analogy so next is let us draw the electrical network from mechanical systems okay again i'm redrawing the mechanical system here my, our mechanical systems very quickly this is dash plot this is mass m and force is applied here okay so this is our reference okay 
so this is B2 this is K and this node we taken as X okay and here x2 v2 velocities and in this case we have x1 v1 velocities right and here v1 is there right <coughs> so from this rearranging the elements okay this mechanical elements okay <coughs> arrange them rearranging them in the form of electrical network okay so i'm starting from here same right <coughs> So this is taken as okay. So this is I'm taking here force F or F of T, okay, F of T, and it is see mass is grounded. So see in this case, <coughs> better take this as a velocity v2 and this is a node velocity v1 okay and consider another node ground okay here also what i'm doing we need to consider <coughs> two nodes here this is v1 another somewhere here v2 and consider another node here ground okay now see here <coughs> from node v1 m is grounded so I am taking mass is grounded here. Okay, so this is ground. Okay, here is the ground, right? Again, see immediately we have another element. Okay, B one, right? So B one also grounded here, right? Next is B2. So at node 2 we have B2 here. B2. B2. B1. That is a mass. Okay. Now spring element is grounded from here. Sorry. Right. From here spring element is grounded right this is k <coughs> okay so what i did here just i rearranged mechanical uh, system elements in the form of electrical system right now now redrawing the this mechanical system in the form of electrical system by converting their elements okay so here I am starting from here ok so force becomes what we have a current so I am writing I of t f of t becomes I of t elements as it is we need to write ok from this side I am taking this value and uh, we are writing electrical system like this ok so <coughs> mass becomes what capacitor as it is I am writing ok this is capacitor okay next is damper element is what here damper element is nothing but uh, conductance right this is g1 okay so this is b1 i think b1 so g1 right next is another damper element so this is g2 okay next which is grounded K becomes what is the K here? Inductance L. Okay. Now this currents I will consider as a I1, I2 entering into it. Okay. Now this is the resultant electrical network. Okay, for given mechanical system, for given mechanical system. Okay, completion of problem. Right. So in the next class, we are going to discuss mathematical modeling of rotational mechanical systems. Okay, and there also we are finding torque 
voltage analogy and torque current analogy okay and we'll solve the problems and we'll write the differential equations and also transfer function of the given rotational mechanical system okay thank you